Dear viewers, greetings. This present video is about ultra high performance lipid chromatography. In short form, it is called as UHPLC. In this video, uh, we are going to discuss the following topics. First, introduction about ultra high performance liquid chromatography, advantages of ultra HPLC over HPLC, principle of ultra HPLC, instrumentation of ultra HPLC, applications of ultra HPLC, advantages of ultra HPLC, and finally, limitations of ultra HPLC. Ultra high performance liquid chromatography or UHPLC. Ultra high performance liquid chromatography is a modern liquid chromatographic system which is the modification of HPLC. UHPLC was developed in 2004 by Waters. UHPLC is similar to HPLC technique used to separate different constituents of a compound. UHPLC is used predominantly to identify, quantify and separate the components of a mixer by using high pressure to push solvents through the column. In UHPLC, the particle sizes less than 2 micrometer can be used, providing better separation than HPLC where the particle size is limited to 5 micrometer. The basic principle of UHPLC for the separation of the components in a mixer is same as HPLC. The main difference is in the particle size of sorbent of the column which is less than 2 micrometer. Advantages of ultra HPLC over the HPLC includes smaller particle size of stationary phase with diameter less than 2 micrometer requires less amount of mobile phase solvents, better resolution, speed, highly sensitive, high operating pressure up to 15,000 PSI, high flow rate and advanced instrumentation. Principle of Ultra HPLC or UHPLC The basic principle of UHPLC and HPLC is the same and depends upon mode of separation that is adsorption, partition, exclusion and ion exchange depending on the type of chromatographic solvent. The UHPLC is predicted on the principle of the use of stationary phase consisting of particle size less than 2 micrometer while HPLC columns are typically filled with particles of 3 to 5 micrometer. UHPLC is a derivative of HPLC whose underlying principle is that as column packaging particle size decreases, efficiency and thus resolution increases. If it decreases particle size less than 2 micrometer, the efficiency shows a significant gain and it does not diminish at increased linear velocities or flow rate according to the common Van Diemter equation. And next, instrumentation of ultra HPLC. The instrumentation of ultra HPLC includes solvent delivery system, sample injection, UHPLC column like BEHC18 and C8 columns, BEH shield R18 columns, BEH phenyl columns, and BEH amide columns, and detectors like uh, the tunable ultraviolet detector, photodiode array detector operative light scattering detector and fluorescence detectors and the PC for data analysis. First, solvent delivery system. UHPLC system regularly operate at 8000 PSI to 15000 PSI. The solvent delivery system must also counterbalance for various solvents used in isocratic, linear, and non-linear gradient elution modes and also for solvent compressibility for a wide range of pressures. The two major classifications of solvent delivery system are constant pressure pump and constant volume pump. Constant pressure pump is used for column packing. 
the constant volume pump is mostly used in all common UHPLC applications. HPLC has a pump pressure of 40 megapascal, whereas UHPLC has a pump pressure of 100 megapascal. Second, sample injection. In UHPLC, sample introduction is very critical. The volume of sample in UHPLC is usually 2 to 5 microliter. Conventional injection valves either automated or manual are not designed and hardened to work at extreme pressure. To protect the column from extreme pressure fluctuations, the injection process must be relatively pulse free and the swept volume of the device also needs to be minimal to reduce the potential band spreading. A fast injection cycle time is needed to fully capitalize on the speed affordable by UHPLC which in turn requires a high sample capacity. And the low volume injections with minimal carryover are also required to increase the sensitivity. There are also direct injection approaches for the biological samples. Third, UHPLC columns. UHPLC columns are short in length and have a 150 into 2.1 millimeter length and diameter dimensions respectively with a smaller diameter that range from 1 to 2.2 millimeter. Capillary columns are particularly suitable for UHPLC system due to lower heat generation and better heat tolerance capability. The UHPLC column can operate with pressure higher than 80,000 psi. Charge surface hybrid particle technology, ethylene bridged hybrid particle technology, high strength silica particle technology and peptide separation technology are most commonly used in the construction of columns used in UHPLC. Four bonded stationary phase columns manufactured by Acuity are available in the market which can be used by the UHPLC technique. The first stationary phase column is BEH C18 and C18 columns. These are a straight alkaline chain, most preferred UHP columns as they can be used over a wide pH range. The trifunctional ligands produce low pH stability which is combined with high pH stability of 1.7 micrometer BEH particles to produce the widest usable pH operating range. The second stationary phase column is BEH shield R18 columns. They supply selectivity to UHPLC as it complements C18 and C8 columns. The third stationary phase column is BEH phenyl columns. They have trifunctional C6 alkyl ethyl between the phenyl ring and the silyl functionality. And the fourth stationary phase column is BEH amide columns. The combination of the trifunctionally bonded amide phase with BEH small particles provide an exceptional column lifetime. They facilitate the use of a wide range of phase pH that is from pH scale 2 to 11. Finally, detectors. The system is often organized with four types of detectors. They are tunable ultraviolet detector or TUV detector, photodiode array detector or PDA detector, operative light scattering detector or ELS detector, and finally fluorescence detector or FLR detector. The first detector is TUV detector or tunable ultraviolet detector. The tunable ultraviolet detector is a two-channel absorbance detector. The detector is controlled by Empower or Mass Linux software for each LCMS and LC applications. The second detector is PDA detector or photodiode array detector. Photodiode array detector is an optical detector that absorbs 
UV visible light that operates between 190 to 500 nanometer. The third detector is ELS detector or operative light scattering detector. The operative light scattering detector is controlled by Empower or Mass Lineage software which incorporates a flow type nebulizer that is optimized for UHPLC system performance. The fourth and final detector is fluorescence detector or FLR detector. Fluorescence detector is a multi-channel, multi-wavelength detector which has an excitation wavelength that ranges from 200 to 18, 890 nanometer and emission wavelength that ranges from 210 to 900 nanometer and it also offers 3D scanning capability for easier method development. Applications of Ultra HPLC The applications of Ultra HPLC includes analysis of biochemical constituents of a compound, analysis of herbal medicine, analysis of drugs in human plasma, rapid analysis of dosage formulations, identification of metabolites, analysis of impurities, quantitation of analytes present, sample purity determination, separation and identification of amino acids, nucleic acids, proteins, hydrocarbons, pesticides, carbohydrates, antibiotics, steroids and other inorganic substances, food safety analysis and finally quality assurance and control. Advantages of Ultra HPLC. The advantages of Ultra HPLC includes high resolution, it requires short analysis time and fast analysis, use of fine particle of 2 micrometer for packing of stationary phase which makes the analysis fast, time and cost both are reduced, consumption of solvent is less, more products are analyzed with existing resources. Delivers real-time analysis in step with manufacturing process and finally assures end product quality which includes final release testing. Finally, limitations of Ultra HPLC. The limitations of Ultra HPLC are it cannot separate inorganic ions or polysaccharides. This is the first limitation. And the second limitation is lack of an ideal universal detector. And finally, the third limitation is aggressive nonpolar solvents are not compatible with this instrument. Dear viewers, that's all about the ultra high performance liquid chromatography or UHPLC. Thank you for the support. Thank you.